Hello, it's David from Guitarist Magazine here, and we are looking today at a Takamini GD34CE BLK. Let me decode that for you. The G means it's a G series, the D means it's a dreadnought. 34 is its number in the 3 series or the 30 series of Takamini's um, catalogue. CE means it's a cutaway electric and the BLK means it's black as you can see none more black so obviously we can't see too much in the way of detail as far as woods are concerned with grain and that but we have I'm told a Sitka spruce top with mahogany probably a laminate it's very very difficult to tell as you can probably gather um, mahogany back and sides mahogany neck and we've got a laurel fingerboard now laurel is used as a substitute for rosewood does a fine job it even looks very much like rosewood maybe slightly paler but it does does a fine job um, the other thing about this one of the things that you do realize when you first pick it up is the frets are very very low it's reminiscent of uh, a sort of Gibson fretless wonder in many ways but after only a little while you do get used to it your fingers get used to it although first time you put them on the fingerboard they do do a kind of a what's going on type of thing um, what else can I tell you we've got sealed back tuners um, laurel bridge looks like a bone bone nut um, and this is made in China this guitar is made in China. We're used to Takamini guitars coming from Japan, but this is a, a Chinese made one. And it's made in the image of another Takamini called an EF341SC, which is played by the likes of Bon Jovi and Bruce Springsteen. The difference being that this one retails at just over, or just around the 600, 600 pound mark the other one is considerably more but it comes with a, a takamini tp 3g pickup system and little note for takamini perhaps is it's this isn't the best place to put a, um, a preamp with a built-in tuner because tuning means you're doing this all the time which if you were live on stage your audience might wonder exactly what you're doing but you're trying to see the screen just here but apart from that, no worries. Uh, it works. It's based on the pickup system that used to be on 70s Takaminis, the famous Brownie preamp and pickup system. Um, and it was much beloved then, FET powered. What can I tell you? It works. So you've got control over the lows, mids and highs and volume, as I say, with a, a tuner all powered by the usual 9 volt battery. It's a nice sounding instrument. It's got everything you need without having too much of one particular thing. It hasn't got an amazing bass sound on it, but if you listen... Everything you need is there, basically. And so if you were wanting to buy into a major brand, um, or you needed a guitar for one or two numbers during a, an electric band set, or you were a singer songwriter on your way to a open mic occasion or something like that. What more could you want? Basically it works. It's stage ready, sounds good. Well, we'll prove that to you in a minute. In actual fact, it's probably time that we uh, had a few sound examples. So here we go. Mm -hmm. 